Aquarius, your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions with you at this time. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. Let's jump into the reading. We have the Strength card. So what we're seeing here, Aquarius, is somebody who thinks that you are very, very powerful in your own right. You're very successful. You're single and ready to mingle. They do feel, you know, when they look at you and think of who you are, they see you as courageous, outgoing, somebody who's strong, somebody who goes a distance, somebody who completes everything they start. They also see that in some ways you hold yourself back. So when they think of you, they see you as a person who sometimes can get to in your head. Um, you may not always be a person who's highly communicative. In terms of their feelings and their heart space for you, we see this tremendous feeling that you are their soulmate, their lover. In their heart space, they feel so drawn to you, so compelled by you. They want to gaze into your eyes. They want to have this incredible, intense love relationship with you. In their heart space, they want to get to know you better. They want to get to, they want to work on relationship. They want to develop the relationship. They want to have a day-to-day -day knowledge of you. You may have met this person at work. But we see in their heart space that they have a very, very strong desire to really have a relationship with you in which the day-to-day -day life and the passion really is something that they get to express. This person typically could be someone who's very reserved in their heart space. Sometimes they don't allow themselves to put their head over their heart, or excuse me, their heart over their head. Their approach to life in general is to restrict this heart space with this Libra queen energy. Um, this is a person who's been injured. They have healed some wounds. This is a person who very much is very logical, is very balanced. But that's not great heart space energy because it's not acknowledging the feelings as much. So they, they put a, a lid on their feelings. And again, I feel as though, you know, they view you as somebody who is limiting, being open with them. In terms of their intentions with you, they feel as though they are at a crossroads. They feel as though, you know, you are, they feel really joyful and happy. They feel as though they need to, you know, have fun. That this is a card of eat, drink, be merry, live in the moment. Um, they're very, very, their intention is to do that. Their intention right now is not to commit, but their intention is also very much to remain very cool, very calm, very stable, very joyful with you, enjoying life, the, the best that life brings to the table, to be spiritual with you also. You know, we have the guardian angel here. This person sees a potential in this relationship, which we can also see in their actions. We see this person as an action they feel they should take is that, you know, one of the actions is four of wands, giving the relationship stability. And it's it has three cards that are sort of the opposite of that, which is what I see here is conflict. This person loves you. This person wants you. They desire you. They want to work on things. They want to get to know you better. And yet they're holding back. They're trying to be logical. They're trying to not let go of their heart. Here we have them having lots of fun with you and yet not making a decision. Nine of cups, one more cup, and we have the, the ten of cups, which is happily ever after. We see them in their actions marrying you. Um, you know, that's an action card. And so trying to find their balance here is tricky for them. I would caution you, though, that when we have somebody who jumps into a marriage and they're not, you know, they're using their head over their heart and not listening to their intuition, we have a person who's living in conflict. So Aqua, you know, we really see you in this energy with this person that they're not telling you everything. They're not being open about their feelings. They're trying to heal their heart, which is allowing them to have this temperance energy in the relationship. The Five of Swords says, this is a wounded warrior. Honestly, you know, we do know always that the Queen of Swords is a person who's probably divorced, has some bitterness, has some fear, and 
makes that hard call to not let themselves, you know, drop into toxicity, but I don't see any toxicity here. So what I'm seeing here for you at this time, Aquarius, is somebody who just really, they really feel five of swords, you know, their actions are actually not to be very kind, they're holding back, sometimes I feel as though they pull away from you really hard, sometimes for day on, days on end. Aqua, they do see that you're trying to help them heal. This is your energy in the reading. There's a very strong air sign energy here. Aquarius, this is also you. They feel as though you're very inquisitive about what's going on with them, and they don't want to tell you. The Five of Swords energy, you know, is tough energy also. So a lot of Aquarius energy here, and so it does show that some of this wounding may have come in their relationship with you. But I'm not really, you're not accountable for this. I mean, this is, I see this energy here and it just really speaks to the fact that they are confused. They're really confused because when we look at the, you know, we look at the, um, the five of swords, the six of swords, the seven of swords, the eight of swords, that they don't feel comfortable because you hold back or they feel as though you are all up in your head or your emotions and that you're really not making a commitment to them. So it's really a conundrum. <laughs> this is this is a tough reading even for me to decipher, but I'm going to decipher it. So let's look and see what the clarifiers say for you, Aquarius. The truth is always in the clarifiers. I would say that anybody who leaps off of the reading at this point in time is probably missing the point of the reading. So the, of course, that's my... That is my very, very big plea to have you stay and watch the reading because I think that seeing the details is usually what gives us clarity. It's what usually helps us have a better balance in our lives when we're looking at everything. So anyway, that's my personal opinion. Leave comments below. I will respond. Okay, so why do they see you as the strength card energy Aquarius? They see you as a person who can be alone very easily. They see you as a person who seeks answers all the time. They think you have strength. They think that you have courage. But they also think you have uh, a very strong loner streak. They see you as very comfortable alone. So looking for answers. The five of wands, they feel like everyone's competing for you. So it, it seems as though they know that you're getting attention from other people. They know this either intuitively or because you may have even said that somebody is annoying you. Somebody at work is attracted to you and annoying you. So Leo energy here for you is your seventh house. What I'm seeing is they view you as a person who is afraid of marriage. That you have every reason to be afraid of marriage. Why would you be afraid of marriage? That's how they that's what they think of you. They feel as though you're afraid to make a mistake, that you're not willing to take the leap of faith. They see you as someone who maybe was wounded a long time ago by a divorce. The Seven of Cups says that they also think that you keep your options open, but and yet they feel chosen by you. They definitely think that you've chosen them, but they think that you're just really afraid of commitment. All right, so why do we have the Ace of Coins here? This is their willingness to work with you, get to know you. They love the fact that you're honest. They absolutely feel like, yes, Aquarius, that's something I can work with. I love honesty. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, which is how this person can balance their Libra energy, uh, their Queen of Swords energy. Why did we have the Lover's card here for you in their heart space? Ah, uh, they're fearful. Your person, Aquarius, is very much in love with you. That is Pisces energy. Uh, we have a Pisces full moon today, so I would comment that your person feels underwater, which makes sense if they've been hurt and it looks like they have. Your person is fearful of having you as their soulmate. They are giving to the relationship, though, so they are, you know, sort of fighting against the current of their insecurities. Good. Okay. So the decision your person makes is to invest, okay, in terms of their heart. They do love you. They do value you. They see you as completely a passionate person. They see you as someone very loyal, someone they can trust. They trust you, even against all odds. They trust you. They love you. They want you. They want to grow old with you. 
They're loyal to you in their heart space, okay? We have the energy of your person here being a lightweight in love. Your person feels as though they're at a crossroads. They don't know quite what to do. They feel like when pigs fly, they can make a decision. So we're seeing somebody who's very indecisive. This person's very indecisive. Why is this person indecisive in their intention? Intentions are usually easy, right? We have an intention. So your person intends to make a commitment to you if things, if situations turn around. Oh my gosh, look at this. A clarifier for the Nine of Cups. So what I see here is your person is very much eat, drink, be merry, let's have fun. And yet, that's not really fully honest on their part. What I'm getting here is that they honestly feel as though they don't want to linger forever in the energy of, oh, we're having so much fun, let's just hang out. They're having a difficult time making a decision. They know what they want, and that is the Four of Wands. So in their intention, it is to marry you, but they're feeling as though they have to, they have to, you know, they really have to make that decision. They have to make that offer. They're not sure that you're going to accept that's where I see the rubber meeting the road here. The temperance card, though, says that they have a lot of optimism about this. They feel as though, you know, you've really had a good relationship with them. So their intention is to close out one successful cycle and move into another successful cycle with you. Um, they feel as though they have the courage, the tenacity, you know, the ability to balance their fears, to balance who they are with who you are. Let's see, why is the Seven of Swords here and their outcome or their actions? Their actions are a little bit sneaky here. Ooh, I don't like that one. Okay, when I get the energy of the Queen of Wands next to their actions, they're at least attracted to someone. They may be talking to someone. Tell us more about this energy. We don't like that energy at all. I don't. The Devil card. Toxic energy. So there may be someone around them. It could be. Now, I will say this. I do feel as though sometimes a queen of wands is a friend at work who is attracted to your person and who is trying to steal them away from you. Because this energy here and this energy does not tell me that your person wants to leave. However, there is a temptation here. The devil card is temptation. So I'm seeing that your person sometimes thinks, well, I don't know what's going on with Aqua. I'm not sure how I feel about how Aqua, what Aqua is doing. And so I see this person, you know, allowing a person to try to influence them or try to manipulate them. The Six of Swords says that they would feel really terrible leaving you, that they don't want to leave you, that they can't imagine living without you. The Four of Cups says, the Four of Pentacles says that they hold back. They feel, here's the issue, sometimes they feel like the decision they have to make is to break up with you before you break up with them. It, I don't really see you, they don't really necessarily think you're breaking up with them, but the lack of commitment is wearing at them. So what I get here, Aqua, is that your person wants to move away from this kind of energy. They want to move into romance with you. They see you as a person who is... You know, they're perfect mate here, right? Queen and King of Pentacles. And yet, they're really afraid you're going to walk away. So that's what makes them, it's almost like, you know, I'm going to, before I get fired, I'll quit my job. It's that energy. Why is the Five of Swords here? Their action is that they're being unfair. Their action is that they're being sneaky. Five of Swords, Seven of Swords. Two of the worst cards in the deck in terms of what somebody could do. Eight of Wands, okay. So they have a lot of communication with somebody else. I'm getting that makes them feel really secure, really content. They, it's, they, this person really plays to their ego. Six of Cups, though, see, they want you. I don't see this person as a person that they want. They feel Five of Swords, that they're really doing you dirty. They don't think that this is good energy for them to be in. Good news. They're going to go, they're going to grow bored with this. They're going to make you an offer and they're going to want to start over with you, the Ace of Wands. I do think that they could make a confession, but it, at any rate, they want to apologize to you for not being attentive enough. The Two of Cups, see, there we go. 
So that's how I'm reading that, Aquarius. I feel as though, you know, at the end of the day, their action is to come together in, with you in union in this relationship. So sending you love from Chicago. Hope you like the reading. I answer comments. Bye-bye.